Okay, folks, a bit about me. Um, actually, okay, my name is Adam. I'm father. I'm a standard dev. I'm one of the PMP core team uh, folks. Yes, yeah? so I try to organize, help out the life around this community. I am a maintainer of the free PMP or PMP related um, products yeah, like CLife or Microsoft 65 or free VS Code extensions, which will boost your productivity and scripting or SharePoint framework development. And this will this was the Viva Connections Toolkit, which I will be presenting today. Don't be afraid to reach me out there directly on LinkedIn X or our community Discord server. Okay, let's move on. So what is actually Viva Connections Toolkit? I will be speeding a bit because I want to show a lot, a lot. So it's a kind of an app that supports everything you can imagine around SharePoint framework development. It's a VS Code extension. So it's there directly where you write your code and it uses under beneath the same tooling you probably already use when you develop your SharePoint framework solutions like the SPFX Xeomon generator. And we also use our PMP familiar products like the CLI to give you awesome action boosters, or we leveraged all of the PMP sample galleries like ACES extensions, web ports, so you don't have to start your new projects from scratch. And I will show you it in a bit. Why would you use such an extension if you can already do the, most of the things uh, with the tooling you already use? Well, basically to save a lot of time and maybe do it a bit more uh, without switching context from VS Code, it the extension provides a lot of functionalities that will give you confidence about your local environment, new ways to create your project based, for example, on an existing sample from uh, from our PMP sample galleries. Oh yeah, there's the environment list. I will show it in a bit. All of the gold tasks you need, coding snippets, which will boost your coding with pre pre configured templates to create, for example, an LSPFX co classic component or a hook. Uh, you can upgrade your project, validate, and so much, so much more. I will presenting only for, yeah, only for. I don't have much time, so I will four or three. But we'll see. Uh, depends. But I will try to cover uh, all the latest things that we added to the VP2. So if there's something I won't show on this demo and you are particularly interested in, please be sure to go to the uh, rep uh, the repository, GitHub repository of this project, and check the docs. All of the docs I have media content, movies, how each feature works. And if something is particularly interesting, Git, do let me know, and I will do a separate demo with a deep dive, especially on this feature, like for example, the Branko project, granting API permissions and renaming and stuff like that. Okay, let's jump into the demo. So the interesting part. First of all, if you never use VS Code extensions or Viva Connections Toolkit specifically, how to get it? Well, really easy. You have your VS Code, you go to the marketplace, you type Viva, currently is the, the name we use for this product, and you just click install, and then it will install the latest major or minor version. If you want to be at the edge, like me, and using the latest thing we are currently developing and testing, you have to opt in for a beta, like a pre-release. There's a specific button here that you want to switch to the pre-release, and then you will see this pre-release kind of version that it's uh, you're using the kind of stable version, but it's still beta because you are, you are be using the features we are, you are under our development. So cool. And uh, I already have this installed. And in my, uh, I don't have any sp specific project opened in my Visual Studio Code. And if I go to the Viva, Viva Connections Toolkit, if it's not part of the Viva of a SharePoint Framework um, context, I will see a welcome experience, which will help me get started. So for example, I can check my dependencies. It will look at my local environment which node versions are using if it's either node 16 or 18. So the one currently valid for the latest uh, SharePoint framework uh, version. If I have all the needed uh, dependencies installed, if I wouldn't have like, for example, Gulp, you'll already see an install button that, hey, you're missing Gulp CLI or the Yeoman SharePoint generator. And uh, I won't show this because I don't have time. I don't want to you, to you just to look at the screen going the NPM install about it, but I'm ready to go, yeah. <laughs> We can also create a new project. It's the same scaffolding process as you would get from the Yeoman SharePoint generator. So it's really common and you can create and we support every any kind of project. So web parts, extension, adaptive cards. If you will be using Node 18, you will see the new adaptive cards templates. Probably uh, Pablo will also explain it in a bit. Paolo, sorry. And if you are using Node 16, then you will see the old adaptive cards uh, uh, extension templates. So everything you can dream of, and it has the same uh, same kind of steps uh, to generate a new project. But of course, you don't have to start from scratch. You can leverage our existing samples. So 
we have leveraged all the samples like ACES samples, scenarios. So what is a scenario? Scenarios are like a sample, but with guidance. So step-on-step -step guidance using Kotor and ah, you don't have a Kotor? Well, yes, you do. Because Viva Connections Toolkit is also a bundle. So it comes together with two more extensions that will boost your product learning productivity, for example, Kotor or coding. So it has those Ilio developed SPFX snippets. Great. We also have the extension samples gallery and web part. This is the one I will be using. I'm a totally family guy and I'm already thinking about Christmas, to be honest, to have some rest. <laughs> and we have a cool, really cool holiday calendar app created by one of our contributors, Harmin Derf. Thank you very much for that. We can go directly to the repo to this project or with a single click and uh, selecting the workspace and giving a name. I will give it my holiday app. Yeah, a app name and it will download directly this project from the PMP samples gallery and reopen Visual Studio Code directly in this sample. And in a bit, it will run npm install for me. This is really cool. But I want them, want, we won't be waiting for it to finish. I have already done it before, but before we uh, jump further into the details, let's see. Uh, this project was developed using SharePoint framework one that had the console because yeah, it's, it's starting the npm install in a bit. Uh, this uh, project was, ah, okay, yeah, uh, this I will present in a bit. <laughs> the, this project is, was developed using SPFX 1.16. So basically, I want to be at the edge. So I want to be using the latest and greatest. What do I need to change to transfer from SPFX uh, 1.16 to 1.18? Just do I need to only change this version or some, you know, dependencies? Or do I need something else? Yeah, to maybe change my project. What do I do? Do I have to go to the docs, to the guidance? Well, you don't have to. With our connections toolkit, we have an action for that. And now I move back to the extension and it looks totally different. Yes, it is, because it's not the welcome experience anymore. I'm in the context of my project and it has new features to uh, help me get, uh, get on with my project. Yeah, so first of all, we have an account view. I'm already logged in. I won't present you today how you can sign in, but it's a regular device that's similar like CLI for Mac 65 logging to your tenant. And then you have to do it only once. So I don't have to do it today and in time. Yeah, I do it only once and then it remembers my credentials. Currently in account, we only show the account, but we are planning more cool features and information about your tenant in the V3. Then we have the environment tab, which will show you all the uh, app catalogs and also site collection app catalogs. So we don't need to remember about them. You don't need to go to the admin. You have all of them here with a single click. You can go to this app catalog. We have all the Gulp tasks that comes together with the SPFX package. Then actions, I will be talking about it in a bit. And help and feedback, which is really awesome for someone that is new in SPFX development. It has links all to the official MS documentation about SharePoint framework or graph or Viva Connection extensibility, learning paths, additional tooling which will help you like adaptive cards, how to set up your development tenant and how to connect with our awesome community. And if you feel like, okay, I don't need it, I already know it, I'm, I'm a pro, yeah? So you can hide it, whatever you do, or you can hide it forever. It's totally customizable like any other Viva uh, VS Code extension, actually. And we have this upgrade uh, action. Okay, cool. So this action will actually give me the answer, what do I need to change? And it gives you guidance. It won't do the upgrade for you because your project could be customized. And we want that to break it anymore. Uh, yeah, so we want to break it. So it just gives you a report, what do you need to change with all the details, why you need to change it. But at the very bottom, you have a small summary section with a single script and a couple of manual steps you need to do to transfer this project from SharePoint 1.16 to 1.18. Boom, that's all. And that's what I already did. So I will change to my second screen. <laughs> and here, as you can see, I already uh, transfer to the latest SPFX version. If I would run the upgrade action here again, I get the, okay, you don't need to upgrade it. It's already done. Oh man, I forgot about one feature, yeah? This notification that we've shown, yeah? So Viva, I reopened a project and Viva Connection Toolkit already said to me, hey, I can already correct something in your project. What does it mean, yeah? So what does it actually mean is that I'm logging to my tenant, which is called tenant to check something like something, yeah? And the surf, so in the surf configuration, I'm using a placeholder. So if I will run a group surf, it wouldn't work because it wouldn't go to my tenant. Well, Viva Connections Toolkit already tells you that it can align it and we're clicking yes, it's changed this link over it. So I don't need to think about it. It's really awesome, yes. I think it's bananas and it's a good small feature, but it's cool, I always forget about it. Okay, anyway, the project is upgraded. More things I, I did, I already run the Gulp uh, bundle and the Gulp project. So I have my 
uh, my project ready for me in the SharePoint folder, my app, and I'm ready I'm running uh, the Gulp serve, so we don't need to wait for it to boot up. And I, and I added it to a GitHub repository, so we will Git track our changes, what is changing. Okay, cool. I have my solution. Let's work with this uh, web part a bit. Uh, I created that the contributor that edit the sample, edit the partial script that does everything for you. Cool, amazing. Creates your list. I added one event, Christmas. Uh, I'm waiting for it. And I just want to go observe it. I just want to give it a try. I don't want to deploy it on my tenant. I don't want another package. I just want to you know, edit and see it in action. Okay, and let's see. It doesn't work. <laughs> Lovely. Why? Did I do something wrong? Yeah, I did. I, of course I did because the sample is perfect. I have access denied permission. Yeah. So it's probably I'm lacking something. What I'm lacking? Yeah. Let's look. So I'll just quit the surf. And what's actually I forget about is this that this extension needs additional graph API permissions uh, to get going. Okay. So how do I get those on the SharePoint so I can prove it? Well, now I need to deploy my package. Yeah, bummer. I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to test it out in the surf. Yeah. Well, with Viva Connections Toolkit, you can still do it. There's a new grant API permissions that you can just click and it will go over this uh, web API list and with, it will add those permissions di directly to the SharePoint. So it will be visible in the SharePoint Admin Center here in the web API permissions. Let's, let's see if it's uh, running, but maybe I can refresh and I'll be lucky it's already done. <laughs> So I did a lot of talk, yeah, and I'm all quiet. <laughs> okay, so permissions granted. I hope I refreshed it in a and uh, correct moment, and we will see those. Okay, it's already here. I didn't need to deploy my package. Wow, this is super duper, right? And I can just approve it. Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot skip this step. <laughs> Okay, in the meantime, I'll hear my serve. I don't need to type it. I need to remember this command, any other serve kind of config. You have all of the gulp tasks directly here for a single click. I'll approve my permissions, wait for the serve to boot up. And then we can see that the, the web part is, will be actually working live. But let's move on and then maybe I will move back to, to see it in action. Okay, one uh, other features that of course, if you want to deploy, you don't need to do it manually. So I, I didn't mean that you need to go to the app catalog, upload the package. No, no, no. If you have Viva Connections Toolkit, <laughs> you're also good to go. You just click this one deploy project and it will be deploying if the pre-built package directly to one of the site catalogs you will pick. So you can pick a tenant or one of the site level uh, app catalogs. This is all supported, yeah. Okay. and. Let's say I did some development, I tried it out, I like it already, I want some kind of thing that will deploy it every time I will change it. So let's say I have it in my repository and uh, every time I push something to the main branch, I want it to automatically show a new package in my app catalog. Okay, in the meantime, let's add this up and see that it actually worked with those permissions. I hope it did. <laughs> okay, it did. I see my Christmas upcoming. Cool. I already feel those presents. Okay, let's move on. So we have a CI CD GitHub workflow. Currently, we only support GitHub, but in the V3, we are planning to support other DevOps as well. Let's kick it off. Okay, what will be the name of my workflow? It will be a cool app flow. And every time I push to the main, I want it to deploy my package automatically. Yes, they want to trigger it manually. Yes, of course. And there are two ways you can. Uh, Authenticate from the GitHub workflow to your tenant using app application registration. It's uh, the more uh, recommended way to specifically we're using in production. Today, I will be using user kind of authentication. It's okay for dev, but, uh, dev environment. It won't support if your account that you're using is has MFA, yeah? Uh, do I want to deploy to the tenant of catalog? No, I want to go to site level. I don't want to be already that, okay, I want to deploy it everywhere. Let's go to the tenant app catalog, whatever, right? So I have my demo app catalog. You see, it's not here. I'll add this app catalog here. Do I want to be deployed to the whole tenant? No, do I want to override the package? Yes, okay. So it's just a couple of questions and generated something. Let's see. Okay, it generated this flow. I don't know if you guys understand YAM. I don't know, but I have something working. Yeah, I hope it's working. So let's just add some magic commit to my repo. 
and see what we'll, uh, what GitHub will do with it. Yeah. In the meantime, I can explain. Of course, if you want to uh, customize your flow sooner or later, you'll need to learn. Yeah. Just let me sign my comment. One two three one two three. Right. Awesome password. And let's run this Git push. Okay, so sooner or later you're gonna have to learn YAMP. But if you don't uh, want to start and you want uh, don't want to learn already, and you don't want to have some pipeline, just to have something working like a CI/CD kind of thing, Viva Connections Toolkit will create a very simple one with a single quick and a, a click and a couple of answers. So it checks out your project. You use Node 16 still. So for this BFX 118, it will use. Uh, Node 18 and next minor version. It does the npm install bundle package. Then it uses C CLI for Microsoft 365 GitHub Actions to log into your tenant using user and password. So these are secrets you have to add manually. So the Viva Connections toolkit won't do it for you. This is a manual step. You can go to the wiki, uh, the extensions wiki to go over this in great detail how to do it on GitHub and also the app registration kind of authentication as well. And then it will deploy it to my site app catalog. Cool. Let's go to the repository. Let's see. OK, it's not actually this one. Mm, I don't have it here. Sorry for that. Yeah, it's the demo one. OK, it's, there is my add commit magic, and it's already doing something. So there is this flow running, right? Cool. I didn't have the, that before. So there's a new deploy solution, cool app flow, great. And I can even run it manually. This is something I want to do, so I can restart it whatever I want. And it's already going on the, uh, under the hood. Let's see how, how much time uh, I don't have <laughs> any more time. So I hope it will speed up a bit. OK. Uh, in the meantime, the one last thing I, I can cover today, sorry, I cannot cover it all, is the rename feature. So let's say you create your app with a wrong name. How many times you put the test name in the application name or whatever? And now where do we want? Where do we need to change the name? Is it in the URC? Is it in the package JSON? Where where is this name to have it fixed? Well, there is a single action for it, rename, and I'll change it to my holiday application. And I want to generate a new uh, ID. Cool. And let's see the Git changes. Oh, OK. So it was actually the package JSON, but also README. I would forget about it, right? And also in the package solution.json. So cool. A single action that does this boost for you. OK. It's still running the flow, npm install, and then it's bundling. Let's give me just one. I know I already stretched my time, <laughs> but please bear with me just this one single minute. And then this will be the last thing I will show today so for, for that. But maybe next time we'll do a follow up when we will see amazing features how Viva Connections Toolkit can, hope, uh, can help you extensively with coding your application using snippets. So there are a lot of coding snippets. You just type SPFX slash, and you can see these are pre ready templates that will generate. A block of code. This could be a simple block of code or a really huge one, like a specific component, already just to kick off. Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I think I don't have much more time. Yeah. I just wanted to show you that it's deployed. Yes. Okay. It's bundling. So last 15 seconds. So now it's using logging. So it's actually using this, those secret values I added pre, uh, before to my repository. You can do it in the repository settings. And in the uh, here, here, actions, secrets. So this is something I needed. I needed to do manually before. Yeah. Okay. So it's already done because it's post. Let's see if it was deployed. This is my PMP demo. Just let's refresh the page. Cool. It's there. The data doesn't lie, right? So it's done. Thanks a lot. And sorry for stressing the time. <laughs> And the, my last words, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, you all rock for thank you for spending uh, time with us in this community and contributing. Give the solution and the repository a check and join our community Discord server to connect. Okay. Thanks a lot, everybody. And I'll pass my voice to the next presenter. Thank you.